So today is July 11th, and we're looking at the crude futures charts on a daily time frame. And those of you who are on the mailing list got an email me from me yesterday regarding some thoughts that I'd had about CL <coughs> on a daily time frame. We're using the Tachyon Orion tool right here predictively. And every one of the signals that are on my chart were known about uh, just about a month in advance. You'll see here, for example, that we're coming up to uh, actually today will be the next red dot day on CL. And then in 15 days, we're waiting for the next green dot. And then in 29 days, we're waiting for the next um, <clears throat> red dot after that. So just like our intraday software that's telling us when in the future to look for um, a previous banking behavior pattern, the Orion indicator similarly generates that information, but on a much larger scale. So with regards to CL, I noted there's a particular price pattern here. Um, I want you to see it. There's a down leg on the red face. There's a small up leg on the green face. We'll go ahead and we'll color that one green. There's a small down leg on the red. And then you have this explosive new high leg right here. <coughs> Everybody see that? It blows through the red into a consolidated green pattern right here that consolidates. Okay. On this chart, you'll actually see it. Like a pennant or a wedge pattern. Well, I've seen another pattern like this in the past, <clears throat> around this time of year. So when I go back, to 2009, I believe it was. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. It's a little, it's a little weird to find it, but once we find it, it's pretty clear what's going on. So, Earl. I'm going to use a technique that I use sometimes. You see that red dot right there, how it's buried in the candle a little bit, but it's still there. And then there's a red dot here. And then there's a green dot there. Another one over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shift all of those one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then this one, same. One, two, three, four. So I want you to imagine now that this is the red signal, this is the red signal, this is the red signal, and down here is the green. Up here is the green. 
And so now, Earl, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a rectangle and block out where the old dots were. Okay. So now check out this pattern, ready? So it's July into August of 2009. So the season is correct. We have a red leg down. We have an intermediate red leg down. We have a green leg up. Then we have that explosive leg up through the red dot high. Make that yellow. Okay, can everyone see how that pattern bears some resemblance to this pattern? Is this thing on? Yep. So now, what I'm looking at in the other pattern is this high right here. And so again, most of our analyses are based on the fact that the banks don't have any real creativity, right? They do the same things over and over again. So we have the telltale consolidation period right there. One of the things we haven't seen so far on the current pattern is an absolute breakdown pullback in CL, which is a possibility, but for the fact that we are now over here, time-wise. So in the current iteration of this pattern, Earl, the market never made it down here. It stayed and hovered up above. Okay, so with the exception of that pullback down, these things are identical right now. What's unique about the sequence is that they come and trip the stops by this um, P phase when we get to it. So if we equate that to what's happening over here, it means that CL still has room to go back up into the $75 area in the near term. And so we're looking at either today or tomorrow uh, a strong possibility of coming back up into the $75 area on CL. Structurally, you have the support level over here too, which is what they've been retracing to and banging off of. Okay, so on CL, that sequence is one that we're watching for with um, with interest right now because they want everyone to think that this is a topping pattern here you've got lower highs and lower highs but the pattern historically going back to 2009 which is almost 10 years ago right you see that that doesn't take place till after the P phase and then after the P phase it starts to royal back down right 
it's really interesting, I think, to see that around the same times of year, if you watch for those patterns, those same things are happening. Any questions about what's going on with crude right now? So I'm 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 expecting a stop run back up past 75 before the drop. <laughs> 